Are you looking at a 3D printer? Not sure which one to look at? Well today we're going to do a first look at the Focus Odin 5 F3. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as we are said, we are taking a look at the Odin 5 F3. So this is a 235 by 235 by 250 tall millimeter print. So this guy is about an equivalent to an Ender 3, which is really cool. Um, I want to give all thanks to uh, Focus um, for sending me the Odin F5. They, they uh, basically sponsored this video by sending me the printer. So we're going to open this guy up. We're going to get a first look at it and we're going to see kind of get the first impressions and then we'll do a second video follow-up or maybe even a couple youtube shorts of actually printing with the machine and see how it does um, i'm really kind of curious about this one because it comes with some real good quality upgrades that just right off the bat caught my attention so you guys have seen me do videos on the ender threes of adding a second z rod well this guy already got it in there it's already got a dual z axis so that is a big winner point with me when looking at this printer just some of the base features that comes with it because I looked this guy up on Amazon and roughly Amazon retail is $2.99 now they do have some really good coupons on there uh, when I looked at it the other day there was $90 off I don't know if that's still going on but I was really impressed by that so that caught my attention because that brings it more back into the eligible price of an under 3v2 as well but it's got a sleek looking design. It's a good looking printer with some really kind of neat stuff about it. It's got the resume print function, which power outage or anything like that, that's always a good feature to have because you want your print to resume. Um, just the look of the printer and the way it feels, it, it reminds me of the CR6 almost a little bit from Creality. So, but this printer stands out on its own. It's supposed to be really quick to set up. So we're gonna try that. So, so once we get out of the box, um, if I, what I read was right, like three minutes, this guy should be ready to go. Which if you, any of you put together a Creality Ender 3, <laughs> it's a couple hours <laughs> to get it right. So let's hop over, get this guy out of the box. If you guys are interested in this printer, let me know down in the comments below. I'm just kind of curious about it myself because I've never worked with another printer that's FDM outside of Creality. This is my first one. I did have a Sun Lewis 8 sent here once, but it was broken when it arrived, so I've never gone back to look at it, unfortunately. Um, but I am curious to take a look at this guy. So let's open up the box. But remember, if you like this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the vi share the channel. Um, the more we get out there, the more we grow, the better things are, and the more videos I can do for you guys. So that's definitely a hit point that I want to get out there. If you guys enjoy any of the content, time lapses or anything like that, or if there's a time lapse you want to see or a printer that you want to see, let me know down below, we'll see what we can do. So let's hop over, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so let's get this out of the box. So packaging, I was really impressed with the packaging. I'm used to Creality's brown box. I love the imagery, the design, it tracks you to it. It's a very well done box, plus it's a very heavy duty box, um, which is always bodes well um, for getting something in the mail. So, further ado, let's start getting this guy out of the box. <laughs> All right, out of the box. There's our goodie tray and some test filament. So, the printer is not that heavy, which is nice. That's a little bit difficult to take off, but hey, can't win them all. And what's cool about this one is a folding printer. So you're supposed to be able to fold it up and put it away when you're not using it. Um, I do kind of have some questions about that. That'll be the second video that I do on this one is kind of critiquing problems with bed leveling, different things like that with something that you fold up and put away. Uh, it actually has caught my attention. One second. Need something to cut that saran wrap off very gently. All right. I love that it comes with a glass bed. That is uh, a big perk with me. 
Um, glass beds are very important. So let's get this foam out of here. Lay this, get that out of here. Whoop. All right. Get that out of my hand. And let's see here. And the accessories. Again, a test spool of PLA. That's always welcome to use. Um, they come in handy. Let's get in the accessory box and I haven't seen a set of instructions yet. But just kind of looking at it. Oh, there we go. Quick start guide. Woohoo! Gotta have that quick start guide. So let's kind of look at the accessories a little bit. Good little tool bag. Ooh, you guys sent the U they get the USB cable with it. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Bolts. Uh, this is going to be the the uh, filament guide. Power cable. Always welcome to have. Putty knife. Got to have. Uh, looks like some ends to the bars. A pair of your standard cutters, which is always good. And we've got a thumb drive. So let's look at the quick start guide. Let's get this guy put together. So it should be, hopefully, pretty simple. All right, so I need straighten the machine, install the material rack, insert the FAC flex cable. All right, so four steps. Not bad. So let's get, let's get about it. Oh, wow. They even send some really interesting spare nozzles. We'll have to take a look at those in detail, but that'll probably be in the next video. Today is just getting it together and getting it put together. So we want to get this at a 90 degree. And so I did grab the carpenter square. I want this guy at a good 90. So that that's tightened up properly. We'll do the same on this side. Make sure we got it sitting at a good 90 degree before I tighten her up. Is. All right, nice and tight, no wiggle room, looks good to me. So let's move on to getting the this guy up on top, and it looks like it is showing me to use the flat ones. It's one thing I will say if it said in the instructions the uh, the actual bolt sizes that might be make things a little simpler but I'm kind of figuring it out as we go so and this guy I'll just bolt into the top now you guys know me I will probably modify this if I continue to use it uh, well I'm gonna continue to use it this thing looks great I love I love the idea of the portability because um, moving a printer that's been assembled. Um, if anybody else has done it too, like on moving day, whoops, uh, that can be a real bear, <laughs> moving that printer. Uh, especially when you've got as many as I do, it can be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> All right. And that's gonna be a little bit smaller one. But once you've got this kind of assembled together, I can see undoing the two bolts and doing the bolts, make sure your bed's level. You can be printing really quickly with this guy. And it's nice that you can fold it up and put it under a tool bench when you're not using it, um, especially for like say a part-time printer enthusiast. This thing definitely has some advantages. All right, so we got that done. get our cutters out and get this one cut open. I do kind of like that these are not just wires, that these are kind of, these are more of a ribbon cable. Um, that's definitely a fascinating change of design. Um, to the printer and this one will slide in. There's a slot right here that we will slide this one into. And just like that. So that's now nice and seated. All right. That's step number three of getting this one put together. Now step four. Check if any of the screws have been or loose or, 
or need to be tightened. Make sure everything looks good. Hot end's not wobbling too much. That'll probably need a little adjustment. The belts feel good. The plate's not wobbling. Uh, the belts feel nice and tight. I like the difference in the belt. That is a, a different way of doing the belt. I'm kind of curious on seeing how this goes. I love that they did the metal clips just like the competing against the Ender 3 V2. Um, there's a lot of nice, nice stuff on this printer that I am finding extremely fascinating. All right, well, uh, bed leveling. Well, we got it powered on for that, so we'll cut for a second. I'll get this guy plugged in, make sure everything looks good. Then we'll start with the bed leveling and we'll maybe try a test print. All right, guys, you can hear it running. So um, I did notice the bass fans do seem kind of loud. So, but you guys have seen the videos, my printers, I've taken them to quiet land. Um, Cause you wouldn't know there were two under threes this whole time in this room doing prints. But it just sounds like the PSU fan, which for an under three or anything competing against this printer, pretty normal in all honesty. Um, the sound decibel is not that bad. I love the color screen. I love that it's touch screen. That's really cool. That, that's a huge kicker above um, some of the other printers around right now. Um, touch screens are important. So let's make this guy move around a little bit, shall we? So next step is, uh, let's see here. We need to go to tools and we need to go to leveling. And looks like it has a five point leveling system, which is kind of cool. Let's see here. So let's home the printer. And we're going to home them all. And movement wise, once it actually starts moving, actually it's quite quiet. Um, of course, this, this guy is at uh, its full height. You can tell the ca cables are working because it's moving the way it should be. I love that it's firmly put on here. Uh, that zip tie I probably should cut off, but not a big deal because um, it is covering some parts. But all in all, this is a very sleek space, not very space taking design. Um, you guys have seen I kind of take these off and do a different mounting system, which honestly this printer allows me to do. Um, I actually kind of like a lot of what I'm seeing here. It's very simple. It looks very easy to maintain. Um, I love the dual Z-Rod. Everything's coming down smoothly and quietly. There's nothing catching, which is great. So now we got to go through the leveling, which you guys, if you haven't seen, I have a video out on how to do bed leveling. So if you're curious about that, go check out that video. And let's see here. So all we need to do is level the bed and install the filaments. Now it looks like they're is a actual their company slicer i did take a peek in kira didn't see a profile for this so but what we can do is they have all their settings right there so we can actually set up our own profile in kira to take a look at this but we'll also take a look at their software in the next video and you know if you guys are enjoying any of the videos that i've been putting out like how use possible uses for your old spools or anything like that let me know uh, if you want to see more on that um, or if there's more you'd like me to see, like possible uses for uh, un for resin that spin, uh, failed prints, different things like that. So, looking at this, and I'll, I'm going to do some beauty shots here before too long, before the video heats up. So we're going to preheat. There we go. So there's actually a load filament option. That's that's pretty cool, and it's preheating the extrusion up for me now. So once that's heated up. There's a small hole just right here that we'll fill this, feed this into. And looks like that's about all we have to do to get the filament loaded. While that heats up, we'll catch up when it's heated up and I start to put it in. All right, guys. So I'm going to put this in real quick. It's just a simple push in. When you com click confirm, it should start sucking the filament in. I can feel it pulling. So it is actually pulling the filament down in. 
on its own. That's a very different loading process than what I'm used to. So I'm actually kind of curious. So, because you got to load and unload on the LCD, so the controls are very intuitive once you figure out what you're doing. And then let's hop back to back and let's hop over to printing. If there's no files on board, so I'll have to make a file and get this guy printing. But this is just a first impression video. We'll talk about the printing in the next video. So first impressions on this Focus printer is dual Z-Rod, love it. Micro SD card already in, coming with the USB cable, big perk. Direct extrusion, awesome. So for a printer of this price to already have that on it, it's great. Foldability, two bolts, fold it up, put it on your tool bench till you need it next time. Now, of course, you probably have to level your bed every time you do this, but hey, that's a small price to pay to not have something taking up a huge amount of space. So assemble, assembly, pretty easy. Uh, in comparison to some other 3D printers out on the market, very easy to assemble. Sound, comparable to most 3D printers. So um, we may do a video later on on how to make it quieter. I don't know. We'll see. Tell me what you guys think if you want to see another video of this one being quieted down. All in all, functionality. I love the design. Um, I think this is going to be great. I'm curious to see how it is, how it actually prints, but we'll do that in the next video when I talk about some of the other after some use of it and how the features and the printer looks so thank you guys for joining me on this first impressions of the odin odin 5 f3 i appreciate you guys watching the channel today hit that subscribe button if you're new here or if you want to continue seeing more format of 3d printing of this kind and we'll see you guys in the next video